Forms are a very powerful feature in ServiceMate, which have almost limitless uses. Complete site audits, procedures, and checklists in the field, then immediately turn them into professional PDF reports. Creating a custom form in ServiceMate is easy once you know how. In this lesson, we'll take you through the process of building a form from scratch. Forms have two major parts. First, the questions that the user will be required to answer. And second, the form template that you want answers to populate onto, which is then saved in the diary as a PDF. Forms is an add-on, so you'll need to activate it inside ServiceMate add-ons first. Once Forms is activated, it will appear under the Settings tab. There are various sample form templates available for you to get started. It's worth checking these out to see what you can do. Let's start by creating a new form. For this example, we'll create a simple vehicle safety maintenance check. Click the Add Form button. Enter the name of the form. Enter the badge name. This should be a code and short, as it will appear on a badge from this form. Badge requirement sets whether this form is mandatory or not. In this case, I'm going to select Mandatory on checkout. This means that if the user hasn't completed the form when they check out of the job, it will prompt them to complete the form. We won't do anything with the form template just yet. We'll come back to that after we set our questions. Now, it's just a matter of adding the questions you want to ask the user. Remember, you only need to ask for information that isn't already stored on the job. You can automatically use job and client details on the form to save time. So, for this form, I need to ask. 1. Which vehicle are you checking? 2. Does it have enough oil and water? 3. When does registration expire? 4. Take a photo of any new damage. 5. Staff sign off. Click New Question. Type the question out. If the question you're asking could use explanation, add that information here. Set whether you want the question to be mandatory. Then, select the question type. Question type defines the kind of information you're expecting. You can select from text, text multi-line for entering longer answers, number, date, multiple choice, single answer, which is used to pick one answer from the list, multiple choice, multi-answer, which is used to pick one or several answers from the list, signature, add photo. For our first question, we need to use multiple choice, single answer. Then we just type out each of the options they can select from, and that's one question down. We follow this same process for the other questions we need to ask. Okay, now that we have entered all the questions we want, let's try it out and see if everything is as we want it. Click Save, and then click Preview. Okay, that looks good. So the next step is to link the form with a template to automatically produce a PDF on completion. Open up Microsoft Word and start a new document. Because all the data from the forms and templates is interchangeable, I'm going to start by using the header from another template. So I'll go back into Forms, open up an existing form, and download the template from that. Now I'm just going to copy the header from that form into the header of this blank form. Before we go any further, make sure you have View Grid Lines turned on. This is a huge help when you're working with tables. We recommend always using tables to lay out templates. This makes sure everything stays in line and neat. The next step is to lay the document how you want it to look. Because most of this is just typing, I'm going to fast forward. Now that we have the document looking how we want, we just need to set where the answers go. The first answer I need to show is, which vehicle are you checking? To make it appear here, I need to add a merge field. I'm going to show you three ways to do this. The long way, the fast way, and the way you need to do it if you use a Mac. To add a merge field the long way, click Insert. Click Quick Parts and select Field. Select the Field Name column and press M and select Merge Field. This field name box is where you need to add the field name from the form settings. So jump back to your form in ServiceMate. Select the questions you're working on, select the template field code, and copy it. Now, back inside Word, 
paste the field in. Then, click OK. That's it. The field is now added into the document. Now you just follow the same process for the other fields on the document. For this next field, I'll show you the quick way. We need a field name here, so I'm simply going to copy the field name from here. Paste it here, right-click it, and select Edit Field. Jump into ServiceMate, get the field code for the next question, paste it back in the box, and click OK. It's much quicker to simply copy an existing merge field rather than start one from scratch every time. If you're using a Mac, you don't have the Edit Field option, only the option to toggle the field code. So for this next field, I'll copy and paste the working field from above into here. Right-click the field and select Toggle Field Code. This looks far more complicated, but it's the exact same process. Go into ServiceMate, copy the code. Jump back to Word and then simply replace the text here. Make sure you only edit the text here and don't alter the spaces anywhere. So we'll continue the same process for the rest of these fields. OK, now that our fields are in, we can upload this template to the form we created earlier. Open the form, and from the form template, click Select. Browse for the file and save the form. You can test the form again now by clicking Preview to make sure everything is right. And that's it. If all this seems too hard, you can get in contact with a ServiceMate partner and pay to have your form built.